So this all started really just with the limitations of the CNC bed. Like, you know, there's only so much you can actually do in that size without having pieces go really big and really expensive. So I'm like, how can we create something that's visually interesting without having it cost way too much? I'm always kind of oriented towards like nature designs, which kind of is seen through this sort of tree-like structure, but I wouldn't say there was really one source that influenced me, aside from just kind of sticking to what I know and what we were limited with. So, I mean, I know the past few years have had like things you look at. I wanted something that people could walk through and actually experience. So the idea is that, you know, you can have someone walking through, even if it's just walking out of brown, to kind of just orient them a little bit differently, kind of have them take a step out for a second. So that's actually kind of funny. The idea was supposed to be three separate elements. Uh, ended up being technically six, just because even after having all of the pieces be sized to the CNC after several iterations, it kind of became, okay, now we have to have these two pieces connect. And so the connectivity between them is very important, but also very precise, which causes own issues. Um, yeah. Those, I tried to make a joint specifically designed for the CNC where it's, you know, it's something that wouldn't really be doable by hand very easily at this scale, but on the, on the CNC, you know, that's pretty easy. Uh, so it causes some issues where they're, they're so precise that they're almost too tight, um, but each one is very slow so this thing is very secure. <laughs> of the project was done in maybe an hour and then the last six hours was spent trying to fix one mistake that I should have seen coming um, so you know bottom half super easy top half super easy putting them together that was very frantic on its own has its intrigue but when you put all three together it creates this sort of twisting motion that you kind of keep going through without having one end point. Okay we got a video of the activation how do you feel now that it's done? Reaction? Reaction? Yes. Reaction? I don't know. Reaction. We're done. <laughs> reaction. No. Reaction. We've run. Reactions. <laughs> Peluso, reaction. All right. Yeah. It was kind of just designed to be a standalone thing, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized it could lead itself to be kind of a place to, I wouldn't say celebrate, but you know, have things that are stored and like, looked at in a different light in the space. I think it just gives it a bit of, I wouldn't say color, it's brown, but uh, life at least. You know, this is a really empty area. Having something that has a bit of movement to it is a really nice addition. For future projects, uh, make your joints a little bit less precise. It's better to have wiggle room than have things too tight. <laughs>